Hello guys, my name is Abhishek and I'll be teaching you algorithm. Now the question is what is algorithm? Okay, so here we can see any given input, there are set of rules to obtain the expected output from the given input that is known as algorithm. So what is this? It is like to get any output from a given input, we perform some set of rules. These set of rules or steps are known as algorithm. So now some daily life examples of algorithm. Uh, first one is recipe. Okay. So for like you for make a tea, you add some milk, then you add water, then you add tea, then you boil it and make a tea. So these set of rules or set of operation you perform to get the tea is known as algorithm. Now the second example is Google search. Okay. Whatever you search in Google, like for an example, you search cricket in Google, then you get some number of links like first, second, third, fourth, I say so many number of links. Now how to decide that which link will be on first position, which link will be on 10th position? To decide this, it use algorithm. By algorithm, it decides which link will be in first position, which link will be in 10th position. Now one another example is Facebook or Instagram. Okay, so in Instagram, you have a search feed. In search feed, it shows some posts. Okay, these all posts are relatable to you because uh, whichever post you like from any Instagram account, it shows the post from that account for you because it want to engage you. So for this also, it use algorithms. So like this algorithm is are used in our daily day to life. Now, asymptotic analysis. What is this asymptotic analysis? Now, given two algorithms for a task, how do we find out which one is better? To find which one is better, we use asymptotic analysis. Like there are one, two algorithms, A1 and an A2. Let's say there are three algorithms, A3. Now we have to find out which one is better, which one, which algorithm we should use. To find out that we use asymptotic analysis. Now for example, let us consider there are some sorted array of integers, 1, 2, 5, 6, 11. Now we want to search 5 in this area. Now we have, let's say we have two algorithms. One is linear search and one is binary search. Because the array is sorted, we can also use binary search. Now linear search will give you order of n. What is linear search? It will search the element one by one. So in worst case, it will give order of n time complexity. And what is binary search? It will divide the array in two parts and then check the middle element is the target element or not. Like that it will search and it will take order of log n time. So here we can say time complexity of binary search is less than time complexity of linear search. So like this asymptotic analysis is help us to find which algorithm is better. Rare binary search is better for sorted array. So like this we have some notations which are omega, oh, big O, theta and omega. What are these notations? These notations are asymptotic notations that I will be teach you in next lecture. Now we can have three cases to analyze an algorithm. The first one is worst case. What is worst case? Worst case is the maximum time taken by any algorithm. Okay, and it is denoted by big O. Now, average case is the average time taken by the any algorithm. It is denoted by theta. And best case is the minimum time taken by any algorithm and which is denoted by omega. So like this, by using these notations and these cases, we can analyze any algorithm. Now, how to use this? What are these notations that we'll see in our next lecture? Thank you.